Hey everyone, welcome to my channel Dental Edge. Today I will be sharing with you GV Black's classification of dental caries. Now there are many classifications of dental caries but one of the most widely used and accepted is the GV Black's classification. Now let's first see why is it called as GV Black's classification. This is because it was given by Green Verdeman Black who is the father of operated dentistry, therefore G. V. Black's classification. So he gave five classes based on the location of dental caries. Now one more class that is class 6 was added later on. So there are six classes in G. V. Black's classification. Now what is class 1? Caries affecting pits and fissures on occlusal surface of premolars and molars, right? So caries affecting occlusal surface of molars and premolars on occlusal two-third of the facial and lingual surface of molars, for example, a buccal pit or a palatal pit and the lingual surfaces of maxillary incisors, right? So let's see with an example. So this is a class one, that is a pit and fissure caries involving the occlusal surface of a molar. Then this is a buccal pit cary that is a uh, caries on the occlusal two-third of the facial surface or the buccal surface of a molar. Then there can be also caries on the lingual surface of maxillary incisor. This was class 1. Now let's see what is class 2. Class 2 is caries affecting proximal surface either mesial or distal surface of molars and premolars. So either on the mesial or distal surface of molars and premolar. For example, this is a caries on the mesial surface of a premolar, right? Now class 3 is caries affecting proximal surfaces of anterior teeth that is either mesial or distal surface of an anterior teeth without involving the incisal edge. So for example, a caries affecting the mesial or distal surface of an anterior teeth without involving the incisal edge. So this is a proximal caries on the proximal surface of an anterior teeth and without involving the incisal edge. Let's see what is class 4. Class 4 is caries involving proximal surface of anterior teeth that include the incisal edge. So a caries on the proximal surface that is including the incisal edge. So this is a class 4. Now let's see what is class 5. Caries affecting gingival one third of the facial or lingual surfaces of all teeth either anterior or posterior teeth. So facial or lingual surface of an anterior teeth or a facial or lingual surface of an posterior teeth. Right. So this is a class 5 and class 6 is caries involving incisal edges of anterior teeth or occlusal cusp tip of any posterior tooth. So this is an example of caries involving occlusal cusp tip of a molar. Again an example of caries involving occlusal cusp tip of a molar. So if you see this image what was class 1? Class 1 was pit and fissure caries on the occlusal third of a posterior teeth, a molar or a premolar. Then it can also include occlusal two third of the buccal and lingual surface of molars and lingual surface of maxillary incisors. Then what was class 2? Caries on proximal surface, either mesial or distal surface of molars and premolars. Then class 3 was caries involving proximal surface of anterior teeth without involving the incisal edge. Then class 4 was caries involving proximal surface of uh, an anterior teeth with involvement of the incisal edge. Then class 5 was caries on gingival third of the facial or lingual surface of anterior or posterior teeth. And class 6 was caries in, uh, present on the incisal edge of anterior teeth or cusp tip of posterior teeth. 
So I hope this lecture helped you. If you want to see more such lectures, do consider subscribing to my channel and click the bell icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you.